Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is the Kitty Cat Nails channel. I do product reviews and nail tutorials. Today we're going to go ahead and be doing another non-dominant set featuring Madame Glam. Um, I got to pick out four shades that I wanted from their collection. Remember they are always vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 chemical free, and HEMA free. So today we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the I really, really, really liked the shades that I picked out this time, and they definitely went above and beyond my expectations. Um, as always, you know, I really, really enjoyed the creaminess of the gels. This one here was by far my favorite one. This was called Sugar Cookie, and it's an absolutely beautiful, like, rainbow glitter. I'll think in a moment of how to say that exactly. I always forget. Um, it's not iridescent. It's something else. But I always forget how to call that when, like, you know, glitter has, like, that rainbow shimmer. But that is an absolutely stunning glitter shade with that. This one here is a absolutely beautiful, um, like, light purple shade. Um, I will go ahead and put the name for this one up on the screen. As at this exact moment, I cannot think of the name of it off the top of my head. Um, I am upstairs doing this voiceover right now, and it is pretty late, so I don't see myself um, running back downstairs just to double check on that one. Um, this absolutely stunning um, silver shade is called Perfect Silver, and it definitely is like the perfect silver gel polish. Um, it's, I believe, a clear base with some really, really beautiful, fine, fine um, silver glitters in it. Absolutely loved this one. In fact, I definitely used it on a friend of mine um, after I did this video as well, and she really loved it too. And then this shade here was called Soft Pink. This one kind of reminded me of one of those like base gels or like a gel, kind of like a builder gel. Um, not only in the color, but also the consistency. Um, I definitely really, really liked this one. It's perfect if you're going for just like a soft, you know, cover pink color. Um, for today's nail set, I did use multiple coats of this just because I was looking for something a little bit more opaque. Um, but overall, I definitely still loved the shade. And so these are all of the shades that I chose. We're just going to go ahead and go through some swatches real quick. And I'll go ahead and let you enjoy those in real time. And these are all four shades that I got. I used every single one of them in today's nail set. Definitely loved how they all went together really, really well. Let's go ahead and get into our nail art. So for today, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just do some full cover um, nail tips with some gel glue. Um, we're just going to completely ignore the fact that I messed up on my application and I made a mess underneath the nail, um, which is why I ended up having to use so many coats of the soft pink in the first place. 
um, just because I put way too much glue and it spilled out um, past my free edge and it got all over the underside of the nail tip which you can see as I was showing before um, I started to apply the soft pink and even after applying a few coats of the soft pink you can still see it underneath um, it kind of looks like dirty like a line of dirt from the top but it's actually just like you know the nail glue like you can see here on the other clear ones so that's pretty much the only reason that I had to use as many coats of the soft pink as I did and I think that I did end up doing three coats but for the ring finger and the middle finger we're gonna go ahead and do um, a base of the soft pink and then for the other three fingers we're going to use that really beautiful um, like pastel lilac color So this is what we're looking like with three coats. Um, as you can see, you can definitely still see the free edge underneath, but again, that was because of my application error when applying my full cover nails. If I was not using such a sheer color, you, it really would not have been an issue, but you know, it is what it is. Here I just wanted to show you a tip um, that I like to do real quick sometimes when applying your gel polish, you can put it on a little either wonky or sometimes it will self level and kind of go over the edges of your nail. What I like to do is just take like a 100 grit file um, like I'm doing here or a less file. You really don't need to file much and just kind of reshape the sides of the nail. I like to do this after doing a base coat on clear nails or on whatever the base color is here in this example. It's the soft pink. But I like to just file the free edge and I like to file the sides of the nails just to remove any of um, like the pooling that occurs. And then once I'm happy with the shaping, I just go ahead and go on to my next step. And like I said, I like to do that after I do like my base coat or my base color before I apply my nail art because I don't want to ruin any nail art by accident when doing it. So here I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the um, really pretty pastel purple color and I'm going to do that to the index, the pinky and the thumb. And for this shade, I did also use two coats. Um, it was not like super thin or anything. It's just like, you know, it's like a pastel shade. So it's not like one of the darkest colors, you know, out there. And then as always, I like to just kind of wipe the sides of my nail. Um, here was a perfect example as to why you should do that because you definitely saw um, the coffin shape crisping up um, really, like really sharply once I did that. And then here is a look at all of the nails now that we have our base color on. So for the nail art today, I decided to do a combination of hearts and roses. Um, and now mind you, I am working with my left hand, so please excuse like the really weird application in certain spots. Um, but I have been trying to like alternate between my left and right hands just because I hate popping off the nails like right when I'm done. I kind of like to wear them um, and like show them off. So this method for me definitely is more fulfilling because then I get to wear my art. So for the hearts, I pretty much just used a dotting tool and I made two dots for the upper parts of the heart. And then as you can see, I dragged them down into each other to create the heart. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do several large hearts using the pastel purple and then I'm going to alternate with the um, like the holographic, that's the word, holographic. I'm going to alternate with the holographic glitter um, on the heart nails. Thank you. 
here I just wanted to zoom in to give you a little bit of a better look at what I'm doing. I am still um, experimenting with like my camera angles and my camera setup. Um, I actually think that I'm going to go ahead and try to move my nail station around one more time just to see if I can get a tiny little bit better of um, like an organic flow going in my nail area just because sometimes I feel like my station is just not set up for me. Um, like it's set up with all my stuff, but it's not like, it doesn't flow with the way I work and the way that I like to record. So um, I apologize that sometimes my camera angles do change multiple times during my videos. I'm still just really trying to figure out um, what way works best for me and you know, um, what angles I like the most um, while recording my videos. So this is what the two heart nails are looking like. I really like how I um, alternated between the holographic glitter and the pastel purple for the hearts. Um, and it's definitely pretty cool because the holographic glitter only like really shows holographic when your nails move a certain way so that was a really nice touch so here we're going to go ahead and get started on the roses and i just wanted to kind of show you guys this part because i did try two different ways of doing them before i settled with the final way and i just want to leave this part in and as an example that if something is not working it's always okay to try doing it a different way um, here I started with a liner brush, which was just a little bit too thick for the lines I was trying to create. So it was coming out very messy. And then I did switch to a dotting tool, which this is actually one of my favorite dotting tools. But for what I was trying to do, it was just not working for me. So finally, I settled on using this brush. Um, it wasn't like a super, super thin brush, but it was a less fluffy brush. And this was definitely the brush that um, worked the best for this. So I just kind of wanted to include this in the video just so that you can see that sometimes the first way that you're trying to do something is not the best way for you. So it's really all about like finding what works best for you and then sticking with that. Um, even now that I'm kind of learning like techniques that work the best for me, sometimes I still have to remind myself that no, don't do it this way. That way doesn't work for you. You have to do it this way. Um, and then it's just a matter of, you know, really committing to um, doing things the way that works best for you. But I, I promise you once you figure that out and you really get yourself sticking to um, the easiest way it is for you to do things, you will definitely um, excel at whatever it is you're doing. Not even just necessarily nail art. You know, like everybody learns things differently. Um, and, you know, you just got to practice and find work, what works best for you. And in the end, you know, I kept trying and I found the right tool for the job and I found the right way of doing it. And I think that they came out absolutely gorgeous. Um, this was the first time that I've ever attempted um, these roses before and um, doing them with my left hand was definitely a challenge. But, you know, you just got to stick with things sometimes and um, you might enjoy the result. So here are the nails with all of our roses and hearts, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with some top coat and some cuticle oil. But before I did that, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick moment of Katniss. I know I haven't really been doing it lately. Um, it's kind of cause I'm, I have like something in mind. I wanna do like a separate channel for all my cats and like cat education. But here's a quick glimpse of my cranky senior Luna. As you can see, she is very particular about how she gets her pets. So she's kind of a high and by girl. 
Here is the finished nail set. Thank you so much to Madam Glam for sending me these gorgeous shades. I cannot wait to show you guys what else I have in store for the Valentine's um, season and nail sets. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. Um, and don't forget to hit that notification button so you can get updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.